Hi guys, it's Gwen. This is just a quick video to show you some cool stuff available in Business Central. Um, you know, with every new release, they get tighter and tighter integration with all the other Microsoft products, and some of it's really cool, and I just want to share it with you. So today I want to show you some of the integration with um, Outlook. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new email. Here we go. To myself. And we'll pretend this is a request for a quote. Mm -hmm. All right, request for quote, and then I'll just put, um, I need a quote, and we'll put in, uh, I don't know, seven Athens desks, and uh, just one pair of share. Everybody else can just stand, and I'm going to send that to myself. All right, so now let's pretend that I'm a salesperson and I receive ooh, this email. So I get an email from a customer requesting a quote. And now this is where it gets really cool. We have this contact insights, which integrates with Business Central. So if I click on the contact insights, it's actually going to go into Business Central and find me in the contacts. And then it shows me the balance, the balance past due, how many quotes I have that are open, ongoing sales invoices. So some some information I can drill into this information again it's all looking at my permissions so that I can't see things I'm not allowed to see but you can also do new sales quote now this is where it gets really cool this is where the AI functionality comes in it's actually reading the body of my email and again I'm just gonna pick my contact card and look what it did it suggests what should be on that quote based off of what it's reading in the email so you see that I requested one or one Paris chair and seven Athens desks. I didn't put the part numbers or anything, and I didn't even put it in the same order, and it's suggesting these quantities, right? It's also got another suggestion here for the Athens mobile pedestal. From what I can tell, our Archer Point name triggers that, so I might need to adjust that. But anyway, I just wanna show you that you can go in and you can select the lines that you want, and from here you can just go ahead and create a quote. Anyway, there's a lot more to this, but I just wanna give you a little teaser of some of the functionality that's available. That's it. Bye. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.